Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today I'll be showing you guys how you can set up your bump and number map inside Blender 2.8. So let's just jump in and start. So if you don't have any idea what a number map look, looks like, um, this is an example of that. So there are different software or different methods you can use to achieve um, nice maps like this. And so this is called a number map. And then we also have, I'll just open it here. So we also have a displacement map or a bump map in some instance. So this is what it looks like. Um, in this tutorial, I will not be showing you guys how you can create this map, but I'll be showing you guys how you can set it up the right way and make sure it shows the way you want it to show. Okay, so let's just jump into our look dev, dev mode. This is an asset I'm working on for this project so um for this glove so what we want to do is create a new material and let's go into the shader menu the shader editor and let's add our texture and let's select the appropriate textures okay so we have the normal map here so importantly you want to set it to non-color um, so in some instance, you will get it in the sRGB, but you want to make sure it's set to non-color. So when when you're whenever you're dealing with maps that uh, displaces mesh, so I'm talking about normal map, I'm talking about bump map, I'm talking about displacement map. You want to always set it to non-color. So this is always important. You should bear that in mind. So I will duplicate this texture and also add in the displacement map. So as you can see, it, it changes it to the sRGB, so you want to switch it back to non-color. Okay, so now we have our displacement and our bump map, uh, sorry, our normal map in the scene. And what we want to do is um, you can either press the Shift A or I'm adding the node by, you could also add it through here. So the vector, you want to add the normal map. Okay, and now we'll just connect the normal map color into the color so you from there you're good so you can just also include the uv map in case you have multiple uv maps so you want to include the appropriate one and then we are all set so the next is to also add the bump value um, the bump value and we can just this bump color will set it to the height and the normal to the normal then we can connect this to this so in some instance, if you don't have the displacement or bump and you just have the normal, you can actually just connect um, this normal map straight here and it also works. Okay, um, so let's check how everything is looking. Okay, so you can see it's quite, uh, the effect is quite a lot. Let me just bring this down. You can see the effect is quite a lot, so we need to reduce it. Um, this brings us to the parameter here. So you could either reduce the strength, um, but um, I don't like to reduce the strength. I like to leave the strength at 1, but I like to play with the distance. Since I created the normal map and the displacement map in ZBrush, most of the times the scaling of the geometry may be wrong um, when it comes to Blender. So you can play with the scaling with the distance here. So I, I have tried 0.05. Um, usually works so as you can see just setting that to 0 0.05 gives me a better result so you should this is um, can be called the scaling tool and so you should play with that to get a more decent result so as you can see um, it's looking well and let's say you want to add like an extra bump map you can duplicate this bump okay and connect this bump to the normals and let's just add a procedural texture and that was gonna be let's just add this wave texture let's preview how it looks okay so we can just add this factor to the height and let's see what we have okay so as you can see it's looking good um, we could increase the strength or reduce it and you should know you could also increase it to a higher number and yeah so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you enjoyed this video don't forget to um, hit the like button 
And stay tuned. I have something planned. Um, since Blender at some point into a new release, and most people are not really familiar with the interface, I have a plan to release a, a very long video showing a process of creating a pizza. Um, it's gonna be on Hawaiian pizza, so you guys should stay tuned. I just this is just a placeholder till I can upload um, that videos. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Bye bye for now. See you next time.